Hi students. Okay, today we are discussing the topic is orthogonal matrix. Okay, first of all see the definition. A square matrix A is called orthogonal. If A into A transpose is equal to A transpose into A is equal to I. That means A inverse is equal to A transpose. And the first of all finding transpose of the matrix and given matrix product we getting the high anti matrix then a is called orthogonal matrix and its inverse is its transpose so that is called orthogonal matrix see the one of the example here so verify the matrix a is orthogonal and hence find its inverse and the first of all finding transpose of the matrix so given matrix a is equal to matrix so this is transpose so interchanging rows and columns okay so this is interchanging the first row the first column the second row this is the second column third row third column okay now product a into a transpose so a into a transpose is equal to a into a transpose so how to multiplying both matrices uh, in the first two matrix first row in the second matrix sec first column multiplying and adding that is same corresponding to each elements row and column okay that is equal to simplification product of the this matrix that is 1 by 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 that is 1 by 9 uh, each row and column multiplying and adding first row second first column first row second column first row third column next to second row first column second row second column second row third column similarly third row first column third row second column third row third column we getting this matrix now simplification this matrix so that is 1 by 9 into 9000090009 so 9 is a common uh, 9 is a cancel we getting the i into matrix okay na so a into a transpose is equal to i therefore given matrix a is orthogonal matrix and a inverse is equal to a transpose that is a inverse is equal to a transpose that is inverse of the given matrix so this is called orthogonal matrix okay so next one so inverse of a matrix by elementary transformation so how to finding the inverse of the given matrix so this is one of the method is given using the row and column operations so that method is called gauss jordan method so in this method how to finding inverse of the given matrix so that is we can find the inverse of non singular square matrix using elementary or row or column operations only this method is known as gauss jordan method okay so what is the working rule so working rule uh, let a be any non singular matrix of order n and i be identity matrix of order n okay na uh, then we write a is equal to i into a and i is an it matrix this is a free multiplication of given matrix okay na? now procedure so this matrix is convert to i the same operation using only row operations then i is also same operation using then i is converted to some any b matrix so a ikkada a is a fixed no change okay na that is up, applying suitable elementary row transformation to a on the lhs and i on the rhs mat then matrices a reduced to i matrix uh, i reduced to any matrix that is i is equal to see that in lhs a is converted to i and i is converted to b 
so then v is called inverse of the matrix that is a inverse is equal to d okay so b is the inverse of matrix a but only using here row operations uh if we can choose column elementary transformation we write a is equal to a into i and a into i is the i is the first multiplication of a similarly same procedure a is convert to i in the rhs i is convert to b using only column operations that is also called gauss jordan method so so what is the uh, use of gauss jordan method the gauss jordan procedure is the best to calculate the inverse of a non singular matrix when a is of large order and a given any matrix of higher order then using this method we can finding easily inverse of the matrix okay you yeah, now see the example on gauss jordan method yeah find the inverse of the matrix by gauss jordan method okay na? so assumption given matrix a so the 3 by 3 matrix is the now assumption i unit matrix 3 by 3 we write a is equal to i3 a get okay, sure a is a given matrix is equal to i is a 3 by 3 matrix unit matrix into a so now procedure this matrix is converted to i by using only row operations the same operation applying on i this matrix is converted to b gala into a then b is called inverse okay na we are using the first operation first of all this element this two element zeros are okay na using the row operation using r1 so in another one uh, the first element may may not be 1 so 1 ante manaki easy ga untundi procedure so interchanging chudandi r1 r3 interchange chesinaru ikkada 1 2 4 4 3 1 2 3 4 same operation on i okay na? now this two element zeros okay using r1 so r2 r2 minus 4 r1 r3 r3 minus 2 r1 so this two element zero and the same operating on rhs on i okay na next one Minus one is zero. So R two is the dividing by five gala simplification easily dividing by minus five. That is equal to one two four zero one three zero minus one minus four. We keep the same operation usual rule name than me. Is the main operation usual scotch. But in LHS A is converted to I. That is okay. Manaku using the row operations. Can choosing. any other row operations not only same operations so next one so r3 r minus r3 minus r2 so this element zero okay na so that is this zero the same operating on this element this matrices okay na next one uh, this two elements zero okay that is r1 minus 4 r3 r2 minus 3 r3 Three zero four zero. Chudandi. These two zeros. Same operating on I. So next one. These two element zero. This element zero. That is R one minus two R two. Chudandi kena. Two zero I pin. Chudandi di. This is a I achieve chudandi in LHS. A is converted to I. I and I is converted to some B. Ho na? This matrix is called inverse. I is equal to B A. So therefore, a inverse is equal to b. This is the inverse of the matrix A by using Gauss-Jordan method. Okay, understood all of you? Okay, na? No? Uh, okay, now see the next example. Find the inverse of the matrix. by gauss jordan method okay na same procedure that a is equal to given matrix we write a is equal to i3 a 3 by 3 unit matrix the same uh, that is a matrix i 3 by 3 matrix a okay 
same operating this element 0 first no? that is r2 plus 2 r1 so this element 0 the same operating on this one next one minus 1 this element 0 so r3 plus r2 only so this minus 1 is 0 the same operating on this matrix okay next one this two element zeros so one nine two zero by using row operations that is equal to r1 three r1 minus r3 and then using r3 up row next to r2 three r2 minus two r3 so that is equal to so the same operating this one okay so observing here in LHS three common oh no? so three common one zero 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 one zero so three right outside observing this is a neat matrix here i okay na no? right outside so observing i is equal to b into a therefore i is equal to b a therefore b is equal to a inverse a inverse is equal to b matrix that is the inverse of the given matrix by using only row operations this method is called the Ga Jodan method so okay all of you understood yeah so thank you this is the Ga Jodan method and orthogonal matrix we discussed in the lecture for more videos, please do subscribe my channel and like, share it. Thank you.